So my name is Professor Arif Harekar. I am basically a professor of neurology. <clears throat> uh, my profession is neurologist. I'm a neurologist, but today I'm not, I'm not going to talk about neurology. I'm going to talk about my passion. I have, have had this passion for traveling for the last almost like four decades. Let's cut it short and let's get down to what I'm going to do today. I've already posted a video from the Virunga National Park in Rwanda while I was on my excursion for mountain gorillas. But today, in the same context, in the same area, there were also uh, other wildlife or primates. And these are these were called the golden monkeys, the golden monkeys, of course. And golden monkeys are found in the Virunga National Park. In of course, uh, now Virunga National Park and uh, Volcano National Park are not very far from each other. While I was there in the La Lokanda uh, Resort in Rohingya, a very nice uh, individual, he told me that while you've come here, my guide, my my manager of my resort, it's a beautiful resort. Let me tell you something about the resort before I go really into this. This resort was absolutely amazing. Now, this resort is, of course, it was uh, located uh, in the Greenish residential area of Mozanze. Now, this town is also called Rohingya and Mozanze. It's about just 20 minute drive to the Virunga National Park headquarters. I had a great time there. It was surrounded by lush gardens and furnished in a classic uh, Italian style. This uh, little and beautiful uh, La Laconda resort was made very, very uh, comfortable for me because of my manager and because of the resort itself. It offers Mozanze a charming environment where you can relax and you have very good uh, uh, customer care. And I was absolutely guaranteed a very, very good customer care. Now, if you look at this, uh, it overlooks the main garden, uh, our common area of uh, the uh, 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 Place was uh, very enjoyable. We I enjoyed the breakfast and the Italian dinners, and read a few books there, which were there in the collections while while sipping a uh, a good espresso and tasting homemade grand mom's cake, which is very very uh, typical of this beautiful resort called the La La Conda. So uh, uh, then uh, let's talk about uh, the. Uh, my, my trip to these, uh, uh, to the golden uh, monkeys, of course. Uh, I, I told you Lukanda uh, Resort is the, the, the ideal uh, situation if you, it's, a, it's the best choice actually. If you'd like to go and stay in Mozanze, I mean, I was very comfortable, you can have other places as well. And Mozanze, the land of the mountain gorillas. Now, coming to these uh, golden monkeys, they are extremely, extremely rare and uh, they are threatened and they're threatened and they are almost going to extinction. The golden monkey is a species of the old world monkey found in the Virunga volcanic mountains of the Central Africa. Now, these are found in the volcanic Vir Virunga volcanic mountains of Central Africa, which includes, of course, four national parks. Magahinga, it's in the southwest Uganda volcanoes in northwest Rwanda, and Virunga and Kauzi, BG, in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. It is, of course, restricted to the highland forests, especially near the bamboos. These are restricted. They're very, very limited. They're very few. I was lucky to see a couple of them, but they are going into total extinction. Now, this species is, was previously thought to be a species of the blue monkeys and the two are similar overall but the golden monkey has as, as you can see uh, <coughs> the golden orange patch on upper flanks and back since they are so few and rare not much is known about the golden monkey's behavior it lives or these live in the social groups of up to 30 individuals their diet consists mainly of bamboo leaves and fruit Though it is also thought that they eat insects due to the gradual destruction of their habitat. That's very sad. And the recent wars in their limited habitat, the golden monkeys are now listed as endangered, critically endangered on the IUCN 
red list. I will show you that. Due to the diet, the golden monkeys prefer a habitat with abundant fruit and bamboo. The golden monkeys move between areas depending on the season. During the season, if the right fruit is available, they remain in, the, in those areas. With the beginning of the rainy season, as you might see, bamboo is shooting and the golden monkeys move to their habitats. Results of the studies indicate that if there is an area consisting of mixed fruit and bamboo, then the golden monkeys tend to frequent that area more than other areas consisting of only bamboo. The golden monkeys have a diet, as I've told you, that consists of primarily, like I've already told you, bamboo leaves, fruits, bamboo branchlets, bamboo shoots, mostly bamboo. And of course, oftentimes invertebrates, flowers and shrubs. Now, during the seasons where ripe fruit is available, they are always there. Bamboo tends to be the most frequently eaten. You'll see that for yourself because it is often more available the year round. That's why these uh, golden monkeys are always out for the bamboos. Now the golden uh, monkey is, as I've told you already, that it is endangered on the IUCN red list. The animal's habitat is also being encroached, sadly, on by a growing human population. It's, ha it's happening everywhere, not only in the golden monkeys. I've seen these wildlife being thrown out because of the increased population, the deforestation. And uh, here the human population is growing and these people go into the volcano national park to gather food. This is why they're disturbed. Certain activities may threaten, of course, the conservation. I'm always looking for conservation of this important wildlife. So certain activities, like I've said, may threaten the conservation of the golden monkey. Illegal activities that harm the ecosystem, such as tree extraction, deforestation, and bamboo removal, are absolutely serious threats to the presence or the life of these monkeys. Some research indicates that tree removal poses a more most serious threat. Now, like I've told you, these are unique to the Wenger mountain range, which covers the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, and Uganda. Now, these delightful monkeys, golden monkeys, are an endangered species. I've repeated that quite a few times because they may all be gone. So if there's anyone who's interested in the rare, golden, beautiful monkeys, this is the time to go there to Rwanda or to any other part of the Virunga National Parks. Rwanda and Uganda are the only two countries actually where visitors have the chance of trekking to trekking these and approximating with them. You've seen, I went so close to them. I photographed myself. I've had selfies with them. And it is very interesting. These are very friendly monkeys. If you see the videos, uh, they are very friendly. We have photographed them. We have videographed them. We were short of time because of the conservation time that is given to us during the trip. But you can see that the way they were playing. And while they're playing, you can see that the 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 identification mark, the goldenish area behind them is very, uh, very, very evident, of course. So as we moved out of the Virunga National Park after having a great time, a great quality time, quality time, we were quite a few of us. Uh, we, were, we had a group, we all enjoyed, we photographed each other, we videographed each other, and it was a very, very um, friendly group and we, are, we were enjoying each other's company together with the company of these beautiful uh, monkeys who were playing everywhere uh, and uh, enjoying themselves while we were enjoying videographing them. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, do subscribe to our channel, write a little note under the video on the YouTube and uh, press the like icon. Thank you so much.